Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Today I am going to explain the film called I Kill Giants. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and stay safe. The movie opens up with a girl looking over a dense forest near her home. She seems frightened as she senses an ungodly presence. Despite this, she ventures into the forest courageously. There, she uses mushrooms, gummy bear jelly and sparkling dust to create a potion. She then uses it to mark a boundary between the forest and her town before hiding behind a hill. Lo and behold, a branch-like hand appears and it examines the potion as the girl watches from a distance. It's then revealed that the girl is a young and strange high schooler named Barbara Thorson. She lives with her brother Dave and supportive older sister Karen in a beachfront house. Barbara doesn't have any friends because she is always lost in a fantasy world inspired by her love of dungeons and dragons. She believes that giants from other worlds are going to attack her hometown. She spends her days crafting weapons and traps to fend off the monsters. This includes suspending leftover food on top of a pole facing the sea and drawing strange symbols on abandoned rail cars. She sleeps in the basement because she believes that a giant lives on the first floor of her house. Because of Barabra's strange fantasies and behavior, her brother Dave doesn't like to spend time with her but her elder sister Karen tries to be considerate about her feelings and beliefs. However, Karen rarely has time to play with her because she works full time to support her younger siblings by herself. One day, Barabra is approached by a girl named Sophia at the beach. The latter reveals that she is an exchange student from Leeds, England and she expresses interest in getting to know Barabra. Unfortunately, our protagonist is startled by her presence and she leaves without talking much to her. The next day, on the way to the school, Sophia again tries to speak to Barbara but the latter again ignores her. Later at school, Barbara starts counting strange signs she has made throughout the school. And it's then revealed that the school psychologist Mrs. Molly is keeping an eye on her strange behavior. Later, at lunch, a group of girls led by Taylor bully Barbara and demand money from her. Irritated, the latter spits on the bully's hand. This infuriates Taylor and she grabs her by the collar. However, before she could do anything further, Barabra is summoned by Mrs. Molly and saved from the bully. It turns out Mrs. Molly wants to talk to Barbara about her peculiar behavior. But the girl walks out, saying she doesn't need therapy. Afterwards, Taylor again corners Barbara in the hallway and proceeds to beat her. Although Barbara stands up to the bully, Sophia encounters the confrontation and immediately alerts the principal, who suspends Taylor for a week. Seeing that Sophia tried to help her, Barbara finally opens up to her, and they return home together. They hang out by the beach, where Sophia commends her for standing up to a bully like Taylor. Barbara then tells her the story of giants and firstly, she tells her about the giant who was born well before all the others. He was humongous in size but because he was sad and lonely, he took his own life. Afterwards, many giants were generated from his body. There were some who lived in snow while there were others who used to kill many people at once. Thirdly, some giants loved to bathe in the blood of children. There are also harbingers, ghostly apparitions that warn people whenever a giant is nearby. Lastly, the most dangerous giants were the titans that could strike fear in humans just by their voice. Listening to her stories, Sophia gets scared but Barbara continues. She mentions that she creates traps to capture these giants and kill them. Barbara also tells Sophia about a war hammer named Kovalsky which she keeps in her pocket at all times. She says that the hammer is made of the bones of giants and she plans to kill all of them with its help. It's revealed that the hammer can only be drawn out when its need arises. She has named the Warhammer after a baseball player named Harry Kovleski and his performance against the New York Giants. Suddenly, Barbara senses the presence of mysterious beings and starts heading towards the forest. Worried, Sophia tries to stop her but Barbara advises her to maintain distance from her as anyone who becomes close to her ends up experiencing some form of loss. After reaching the forest, Barbara feels the presence of giants so she tries to entrap them. However, the giant manages to escape and she returns back home. She then hears strange noises coming from upstairs. Barbara nervously makes her way up, but when she sees a frightening apparition appear, she gets scared and runs back to the basement. The following day, Barbara is again summoned by Mrs. Molly, and this time, the teacher manages to get the girl to open up. Barbara tells her how she has saved the town countless times and gives her a file about the world of giants. Afterwards, she and the other students are taken for a baseball class. However, strangely, Barbara appears uncomfortable with the game and she purposely gets herself dismissed by talking rudely to the gym teacher. Later, Barbara mistakenly opens her pocket containing the war hammer. This upsets her as the pocket was only supposed to be opened when needed. Taking it as an ominous sign, she immediately runs towards the forest. Sophia follows her and sees her looking for giants there. She thinks that Barbara is crazy and tries to tell her that there's no such thing like giants 
but our protagonist refuses to listen. The two girls then come across a dead fawn with its abdomen cut open. Barbara believes that the fawn has been killed by the giant while Sophia is horrified and runs away. The giant then finally reveals itself and tells Barbara that she is just a little girl who can never face the giant by herself. This frightens Barbara and she runs away. She goes to Sophia's home and sets up a shield to protect her from giants. Later that night, Karen spends time with Barbara and the two discuss their current lives. The following day, Barbara again attends a session with Mrs. Molly who asks her about what happened at the gym class. Strangely, the mere mention of baseball makes Barbara emotional. Mrs. Molly comforts her and tells her that she can talk to her about anything. She asks her what's going on with her brother, sister and mother but for some reason, it makes Barbara extremely upset and she slaps Mrs. Molly before running away. Sophia follows Barbara home, but the little girl is so indulged in her imaginations that when the caring teacher tries to talk with her, she pushes her down. Taylor and her friends watch it go down and they laugh as an embarrassed Sophia runs away. Meanwhile, Karen gets a call from Mrs. Molly, and when Barbara returns home, she reprimands her for slapping the teacher. The next day, Taylor provokes Sophia against Barbara and convinces her to reveal her secrets. Sophia agrees and promises to take her to the beach where Barbara has set up her traps after school. Meanwhile, Barbara apologizes to Mrs. Molly for her actions and asks her why she didn't get her expelled from school. Mrs. Molly explains that she didn't report her to the principal because she genuinely wants to help her. The two then continue their session and the girl explains that she hates giants because it takes everything that made your life go away from you. When asked, Barbara says she isn't afraid of giants because she has Kowalski and it can stop death itself. She then returns home and encounters Taylor and her friends destroying her traps. Enraged, Barbara takes out her hammer to hit Taylor. The hammer is revealed to be made up of a small piece of bone. Unfortunately, the bullies attack her and beat her senseless. Later, Barbara wakes up in her old room upstairs with Sophia waiting for her just outside. Taken aback, she yells at Sophia for bringing her upstairs, saying that there are giants here. This scares Sophia and she again runs away. After a while, Barbara hears the sound of a giant coming from the adjacent room. Scared, she closes the door and runs outside her house. She goes to Mrs. Molly's house crying, lamenting that there's something wrong with her. The caring teacher tries to calm her down but she then gets occupied with her infant daughter. Seeing this, Barbara oddly comments that everyone including Mrs. Molly's baby is going to die before running away from there. Following the encounter, Barbara stops going to school and after two days, Sophia and Mrs. Molly decide to pay her a visit. They tell Karen about Barbara not showing up to school, which stuns her. Karen breaks down as she speaks with Mrs. Molly, lamenting that she has tried her best to look after her siblings. Meanwhile, Sophia goes to Barbara's room in the basement. There, she comes across a tape recording which reveals that Kowalski was very young when he single-handedly helped his team beat the New York Giants, earning him the nickname the Giant Killer. Sophia also finds a picture of Barbara's mother and with a giant's drawing taped over it. Later, she finds Barbara at a game store. The little girl isn't happy to see her, and she yells at Sophia for betraying her. She says that the entire town is now in danger because she doesn't have Kowalski to stop the giants. Barbara then leaves and proceeds to go back home, but she is confronted by some giants. Therefore, she runs to the old train cars, but when the giants again corner her, she activates the signs and sets the train on fire. As a result, the forest giants are killed. Soon, Sophia arrives and Barbara tells her that she saved the town by killing the giants. The following day, Barbara takes revenge from Taylor by hanging a skeleton from her skeleton. This makes the bully a laughingstock in the school. However, when Mrs. Molly tries to confront Barbara, she again runs away. Soon, a storm hits the town and Mrs. Molly calls Karen to confirm if Barbara got home. When she learns that the girl hasn't reached home yet, she goes looking for her and eventually finds her in the rain with a dead mouse. It turns out she wants to offer the mouse to God in exchange for Kowalski. Mrs. Molly tells her that none of this is real and she needs to go home as her sick mother wants to see her. This makes Barbara emotional and she again starts talking about giants. It turns out that Barbara's mother is suffering from cancer and Barbara is having a hard time dealing with this reality so she created this fantasy about giants to cope with her pain. After this, she again runs away. Meanwhile, furious at Barbara, Taylor goes to the beach to destroy her secret hideout. When Sophia tries to stop her, Taylor pushes her down and runs away, injuring her in the process. Barbara eventually gets there and asks an injured Sophia to take cover from the rain. Titan, the biggest giant, then emerges from the sea and starts attacking Barbara. As the giant rains down punches on her, a ray of light emerges from her pocket. Lo and behold, when Barbara opens it, she finds the real Kowalski inside. 
Barbara then challenges the giant, telling him that he can't hurt her mother. With one strike, the little girl brings down the giant and claims victory. However, the injured giant then tells her that he actually came to take her, not her mother. It also adds that no matter how much she tries, she can't save her mother. The giant then lifts her in his hand to take her but a furious Barbara strikes it again. As a result, the giant starts to sink in the water along with Barbara. While this is happening, the giant tells her that all things that live in the world will die one day. This is why one must find joy in the living, while they have time and not fear the end. To deny this is to deny life. The giant then asks Barbara if she can embrace this fact. Hearing this, the little girl regains her will to live again and she swims back to the shore where Sophia is waiting for her. Barbara then returns home and finally goes upstairs and it turns out it's no one but her sick mother sleeping in the room. Mrs. Thorson is happy to finally see her daughter, and they tearfully embrace each other. Several months pass by and one day, Mrs. Thorson passes away. That night, Barbara hears the voice of someone outside. When she peeps through the window, she comes across the same giant she defeated. He tells her that he has come to check up on her. Barbara assures him that she's alright, and that she is stronger than ever. The movie ends as the giant eventually leaves and Barbara goes to sleep. Subscribe and hit that like button to help our channel grow. Turn the notifications on so you won't miss any of our new videos. Thanks for watching.